It's hard for people to walk down here. You get scared. Amen? It's spooky. That's what you see. Why? Because <laughs> God called to glean. It's not a big deal. I go amongst my people because they're always poor. But I love them just the same. Money has nothing to do with love. Amen? And he loves you in spite of all your faults. Hallelujah. Don't be embarrassed. Don't embarrass her. Rather, pull out some stocks for her from the bundles and leave them for her to pick up. And don't rebuke her. You know, you give somebody something. Don't make them feel worse than they already feel. Amen. When you give it with love, they remember you. Here. Because you know what? People don't want to take from other people. They rather get it themselves. Because we're all created to work, aren't we? It's just sometimes opportunities don't come our way. But God will make opportunities for you. How many believe that? How many believe that he's a God of opportunity? Amen. Say he's a God of opportunity. <laughs> and I will have that opportunity. In the name of Jesus. He'll give me that opportunity. He's put something upon your heart that he, you, you want out there, right? You always had a dream. I'd like to do this. You know what? He put that dream in your heart. Yes. Amen? Amen? He put it in your heart. I see some of your eyes are lighting up. <laughs> it's not the end after all. Amen? <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. So Ruth cleaned the field until the evening. Then she thrust the barley and gathered it to a mountain. But after she carried it back to town to her mother-in-law so much that she could, look, mother, how much she had gathered. Ruth also brought out and gave her what she had left over after she had eaten enough. Isn't that the abundance? Hmm? Oh, I got lots. Here, take some. You think God can do that? I got too much. You know, one time when I grew up, I was, I was like an orphan, right? And I always would hoard things, put things where I might need it. I might need it. I might need it. You know what the Lord said to me? Get rid of that junk. <laughs> <laughs> You're just stacking up stuff in your basement for nothing. You'll never use it. That's right. I couldn't even give it away. <laughs> I couldn't even have a grad sale. But in my mind, I thought someday I'm going to use it. <laughs> you got to start to think rich. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. You serve a rich God. I'm not giving you a prosperity doctrine. I'm giving you the truth. Yeah. Amen? Amen? What's wrong with prosperity? How many want to prosper? <laughs> so don't kick me out. <laughs> Let me preach a little longer because this is the word of the Lord. Amen? Amen? This is the word of the Lord. She had enough. She came over and her mother-in-law asked her, Where did you clean today? Where did you work? Blessed be the man who took notice of you. Blessed is the man whose name is who? What's his name? His name is Jesus. <laughs> his name is Boaz, that's right. You're right. You're right, brother. You're right. His name is Jesus. Five minutes? Five minutes. Could you stop the clock, Lord? <laughs> if God could stop the sun, he could stop the clock. <laughs> we're done. We're just, we're finished up here. So we, we start to see where, where Ruth Where Ruth was blessed, but I, I would just like to say, in closing here, okay? How many of you feel like you have nothing?
How about you feel like you have nothing? Okay, all the rest of you can get nothing. <laughs> because the word said, but God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. He chose the lowly things of the world and despised things and the things that are not to nullify things that are so that no one may boast before him. Doesn't that sound like nothing? Amen? When people ask me, where do you come from? I'm one of the foolish ones. <laughs> How many foolish ones have gotten here today? More hands? Amen! Amen! God can use you then, amen? If you have too much, he says, you got too much, you can't use you. You're too full. Empty yourself onto God. God, I know I have nothing. And the reason I'm saying this to you, people, is because the word says, Solomon, we fight not against flesh and blood, but principalities, power, and evil spirits. It's better to have nothing. It's better to be foolish, amen, than to be deceived by the enemy. Father, we see that you have a multiple of people come together. And Lord, now I ask you to make your call to those that want to be blessed. Lord, you said you went amongst the people <coughs> under the anointing of the Holy Ghost and they were blessed. I pray, O oh God, for the anointing of your Holy Ghost upon your servant as we end this portion of the service, that we could pray for those that want to be touched. In Jesus' name, amen. Come the altars. Do we have all Christians today? There's anyone that don't know Jesus here today? Anyone? Everyone knows Jesus. This must be disciple class. Amen. God set this up for disciples. So I'm going to invite you up. Please come. Please come.